The first topic I want to talk about is a question I got who said from a from a uh, individual who said, "Hey, Doctor Islam, I want to know what I can do to improve my gut microbiome." So this is a great question because the gut microbiome is the source for a lot of conditions inside your GI tract, but also outside of your gut as well. We know your gut microbiome plays a significant role for Crohn's, colitis, irritable bowel syndrome, diarrhea, constipation, bloating, distension, reflux, but also things outside the gut as well, including things like acne, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and uh, diabetes and heart disease. So we are finding more and more evidence that adjusting the gut microbiome can really make a huge difference in terms of your overall health, both for your gut and outside the gut. And there's actually a recent study that just came out, which I think is going to be a game changer when it comes to gut health. The study actually was done uh, in the uh, in the in the uh, in Europe, in which they stratified patients who went on a more healthier lifestyle. And those who had a normal lifestyle determine what are going to be those risk factors to help improve your gut microbiome and what are risk factors that would inhibit your gut microbiome. And what they found was that a, a, a diet that, a higher, that had a higher intake of both animal food, uh, processed foods, of alcohol, and sugar showed an increased risk of developing what's called dysbiosis or change in your gut microbiome or leaky gut. This is exactly what's going on. This actually increased the amount of bad bacteria inside your GI tract and decreased one of the critical components of your gut microbiome, which are short chain fatty acids. Now, short chain fatty acids are the byproduct of production of good bacteria. When you have good bacteria, they increase the amount of short chain fatty acids. We know when you have higher amounts of short chain fatty acids, you have less inflammation, less bad bacteria, and less and a lesser risk of developing complications from IBS, Crohn's, colitis, and other conditions that can increase the amount of inflammation inside your gut. What they found in this study is that that diet that had a high proportion of animal protein, uh, processed foods, sugar, and alcohol decreased the propensity of developing short chain fatty acids and increased the risk of Crohn's, colitis, irritable bowel syndrome, and other, and other diseases. And if you couple this with another study which showed that if you are on a plant-based diet for a few days, you can dramatically change how your gut microbiome is to improve the amount of good bacteria, increase the amount of short chain fatty acids, and to decrease your decrease your risks at developing all the other conditions going on inside your GI tract. So this shows you a that diet plays a significant role in terms of gut health and overall health and b change, making a change over the few, next few days can dramatically change the ecosystem inside your gut. It can make things better for you. It can improve your gut microbiome, improve the health of your body and that in turn can manifest an improvement of overall conditions of what is going on for your GI tract. So I think this was a great study, a game changer. I look forward to seeing more and more studies on this. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that or have you guys experienced a change in your diet to have an improvement in some of the gut issues that you guys are having.